I've been challenged my whole life by drugs and alcohol. Welcome to my Sedona house. Come on. And this is where the magic happens in the morning after talking. No more. No more. Don't do it. <laughs> Because that that is his view out of this side of the house. No, it's not. All right. Welcome everybody back to Flippin' Reality. And we are headed to Sedona. My name's Andy. Who are you? Paul Romero. <laughs> are, are you that director who does scary movies? No. <laughs> That's some kind of Romero. Anyways, we're going to meet with Kevin Close in Sedona, world renowned. Maybe we'll get into the vortex. Yeah, the vortex. I know. That's do you, what I want. Do you think we'll see aliens? Okay, here we are outside of Kevin's house and now we're gonna go inside and see if they're home. Are you home, Kevin? What is that? Hello. Hey, Wather, do you see that? See that spider? Whoa! Welcome to my Sedona house, come on. This is fantastic. Is it? The, the, the views are spectacular. Um, I just, you got to take us around. Okay. It's Leonie's first time here too, so I'm gonna kind of show her around and you guys can come with us and um, the views are a lot better than the house. <laughs> but, but that's it. Anyways, this is our living area and fireplace. A little bit burning fireplace. This is our awesome kitchen. And the, the reason they got rid of this house is they had a water leak and they had mold and they did mold remediation and they moved out while it was happening and they never came back and then they sold it. So we bought it. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Little yeah, MTV cribs. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens in the morning after the coffee. Didn't didn't Paul just have some magic in here? He just had some magic and we uh we had to get a bucket of water to flush the toilet. Oh, <laughs> oh look. It even comes with spiders. Those are extra. Those are extra. Do you charge for that? This is the air conditioning and ventilation system. And it's mainly a heater. There is no cooling in this house. So um, they use fans when it got hot. And I don't know what this room was exactly. Uh, another living area. Yeah, great. Great media room or whatever but um and then there's another bedroom slash office that's interesting right yeah yeah and we have the and we have the safe room there safe room what do you mean what are you talking about what what, what? Well, i mean this is this is a closet what are you talking about <laughs> what do we what are we Yeah, well this this is the parking area. This was where the uh, a shaded structure would be for parking. It was our original design option because all, all our views are out the south side of the house. There's nothing out the north side. It's all this way. So we're trying to keep it open. Windows on this side. We want to do a courtyard in the front. Um, that's in the new design options. But but yeah, we want to keep the views going this way and that way. Hey, where where's Paul? I haven't even seen this guy. Oh, man. Dude, oh. every time I'm filming and making magic, you're sleeping on the job. I couldn't find a surfer bed, so this is the next best thing. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the guest house. We're gonna Airbnb that for about 150 a night. <laughs> Zach took an Airbnb up here in a cave with a mattress in it, pay two hundred dollars a night. Zach. Zach did. Yeah, ask him about that. All right, this is this is our first hike of the day. <laughs> Be careful. This is our 
<laughs> this is where the water heater used to be, but we had one blow up on another property, so we came and took this one. <laughs> this is that uh, bedroom on the other side. We're, we're thinking if we did keep it, we keep the laundry back here, uh, spruce this uh, paint and throw some drywall on it, put a door in here so you can come back through the house. Sure. The Instead of through that. So this is where I was on the other side. Is this the hole? That's the hole. This is the hole. Oh, hey, there's the house, everybody. You hear the echo? Echo! Is this the bridge, the walking bridge? <laughs> hey, Paul. What are you doing? Oh, Paul's always getting hurt. <laughs> so, Kevin, this is a really great house. Doubly great because obviously the neighbor gave you one right across the street, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? I wouldn't say gave you one, but you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, gave you another opportunity directly across the street, which is awesome. We don't have those kinds of opportunities happen to us all the time, right? Sure. So this particular property, you've, you've, you've given us the tour here. You've showed uh, all the little quirks about it, and you've touched on several different things that uh, I'd like to go deeper on. Okay. Can you tell us, like, what are some of the major issues that this house has? And, and not maybe they might, maybe they aren't issues. Maybe you can support the fact that they're fine, right? Okay. Uh, in in the major components of the property, the foundation, the roof, the uh, uh, plumbing, the electrical, and the mechanical. Okay. Okay. Well, the existing structure is not is not up to today's standards by far <laughs> it, it needs it needs a new panel it's on septic mm -hmm. there's sewer in the street the city wants it, it if we pull a permit we have to switch a bend on the septic and tie it into the okay. uh, tie it into the street it's eleven thousand dollar permit to tie into the street but the previous owners had paid it when they owned it because they had planned to remodel it which they didn't do uh -huh. so they paid 2500 that grandfather's to us so whoever purchases this oh. property and does the work is going to get that. So that's um, a eighty-five hundred dollar discount on the sewer permit. Eighty-five hundred, well, eleven thousand actually, because like yeah. it's already paid for. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so we bought this house for three hundred thousand as is, and we were mainly going for the neighborhood. We didn't care too much about this house per mm -hmm. se. Well, we started looking at the comps around here. When I originally pulled up this house to do the ARV on it, I thought Zillow was broken because the, the map came up and there was there was nothing on it. It was just a map of Sedona. <laughs> there's no houses for sale. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's no new construction here. Right. There There is new construction, but they're attached, multi-families, yeah. and they sell yeah. okay. 1,500, 1,800 sells for $700,000. Yeah. And so there is no new construction here. So the ARV is so high here, 350 to $400 a square foot for newer houses or new construction that we wanted to take this down and mm -hmm. and build a 2200 square foot house it's gotcha. 1418 now and put a second story on so we could capture the yeah. awesome views well, with of course. yeah i mean they're all around us right yeah exactly what is sedona what is it about sedona why is it 350 dollars a square foot besides looking at these beautiful rocks <laughs> sedona is uh, synonymous with Arizona. Everybody knows Sedona. You say Grand Canyon, you say Sedona. My girlfriend is from Israel and they talk about Sedona 9,000 <laughs> miles away from here. Everybody in the world knows Sedona. I, I bet if you asked a Chinese person, they would know Sedona. <laughs> now you can go over to Oak Creek, which is still, it's right next door right. and it is the price per foot drops $50 a foot. It's got the same views, but it's got a different name. Right. So Sedona, that's a code, <laughs> is, it's like Arcadia. Everybody wants to be in it and uh -huh. say they live in Sedona. They don't want to say they live in Oak Creek, right. even though Oak Creek's fantastic to me. So it yeah. is, it's it's a magical place up here. Mm -hmm. You have the spiritual people, you have the vortexes, you have the hiking, mm -hmm. you have everything. It's right in the central Arizona. It's got the milder climate. Mm -hmm. um, I want to have a house here someday. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is what I need to like really be an added piece to the fantastic uh, flip and really tell the story of Sedona. And we just walked here in like two minutes, right? Two minutes. But you're going to show me some enchanted beauty that's beyond that tunnel at your house, right? Yeah. And so I say like, let's go down this trail and let's go like, I don't know, two, three miles deep. Is that what it takes? Because when you look up there, I think it's going to take a while, all right? But we can do it. Let's do it for the people. It's not about us. It's about them, okay? Right. All right, let's go. Yep. We're going in.
I don't know how far it is. It's deep. We're going way back in there somewhere. Captain, I need to see the beauty. Where is it? Let's go. Almost there. Another, another two miles. Oh! Oh gosh, what have we gone? Mile? Mile and a half? What have we done? No more. No more. Can't do it. Uh-uh. About a hundred yards, Andy. What? I gotta get in shape. <laughs> So, as we're reflecting on something, as I said, you're in this fantastic part of Arizona, uh, just about the journey I've been on since I have decided to do what I'm doing now. I, I did have uh, a nine to five job. I worked in my family's construction business. I worked in Hawaii for 30 years. I, it was a fantastic job. I made way over six figures and I was an extremely unhappy person. I, I've been challenged my whole life by drugs and alcohol, and um, it has always been because I wasn't happy with who I was, so I, I used it to medicate my situation, uh, whatever I was feeling, I just wanted to, uh, it to go away. So I have come to grips with that. Um, I did find a bottom when my my grandson died when he was 10, 10 days old, my first grandson, child. And my daughter, I didn't, I didn't know how to support her through what she was going through. And that was clearly the bottom in my life. It was about four years ago and I was sober then, but I, to deal with that, because I didn't know how to support my daughter and what she was going through, I went back to alcohol because I didn't know how to cope. So I went back to how I always coped with any, anything. If I felt bad, I went to alcohol. If I felt good, I went to alcohol. If I felt, if I didn't feel anything, I went to alcohol. Um, so I did that and I got extremely sick and ended up in the hospital myself. And, and that was the end for me. And I had always had a dream of doing real estate. And I thought that could bring me to freedom uh, from everything. I thought I could be an entrepreneur. I thought. I, and I had done real estate at different levels, mainly investing, but I thought it could free my life from my job and and what went with it and the burden uh, that I was feeling. And, and I wanted to create a new life. I wanted to help my daughter through what she was going through and she still struggles with it. And I have three amazing grandchildren now, so we're getting through that. And, she can look to her sober father now instead of her drunk father and see somebody's going to be there who can support her without being, being a mess. <laughs> a mess. I came across an amazing community totally by chance. It was a Facebook post and I went to a property tour and I met some amazing people, an amazing community. And I met my good friend Zach Ullman. And uh, I saw a supportive community of people that learned together and did deals together. And I thought I, I could fit in here. I wanted the freedom that everybody talks about. I wanted financial freedom. I wanted, I wanted money freedom. I wanted time freedom. I wanted to travel the world with my girlfriend to go to amazing places that I hadn't been before. And I wanted to be happy. I mainly wanted to be happy. And I met my two amazing business partners inside the community. Brian Rodriguez and Veronica Cardenas, and we own two houses in Sedona, and we've been right down at this spot taking pictures together, and they're the best business partners I could hope for, but I found them in the community as well. I found so much more in this community. I joined it, and I thought it was a good place to find a deal, and what I found was something totally, I wasn't expecting it. I found, I found um, a way to be happy with who I am. 